Ladies and gentlemen, the Shrek Gamer Telecom video, let's discuss Microsoft and job losses. So, Microsoft have announced it's going to be axing about 18,000 jobs over the next year or so. Um, primarily, Nokia devices and service divisions are going to be the ones that are taking the majority of the hit. Um, now, the Nokia division, which Microsoft purchased back in 2013, and in case you're wondering, they paid about 4.6 billion, that would be great British pounds, which is, well, a lot. It's going to be seeing 12,500 people. So the purpose behind this, uh, according to the CEO of Microsoft, of course, Satya Nadella, he said that it's to create a more productive, impactful team across Microsoft. In other words, they're pretty much trying to trim the fat. That's a lot of fat to trim. But, suffice to say, that's just how it's going. So the Xbox was not mentioned in the letter um, sent to various employees by Nadella. But the report suggests that there are going to be uh, impacts with the European marketing staff as well. Stephen Elop, who is Microsoft's device group's boss, has also said that amid, amidst the layoffs, uh, layoffs, I'm sorry, there will be limited change for the Xbox hardware. Indeed, he said, and I quote, with a set of changes already implemented earlier this year in those teams, this means there will be limited changes for the Surface Xbox hardware, PPI slash meetings, or next generation teams. Now, while I'm sure some people are going to be cheering, and they're going to be like, yay, Microsoft are in financial trouble. No. Um, you've got to remember that while they are saying bye-bye to certain roles, they are adding additional roles. So, of course, staff could actually be notified of these cuts within the next, oh, let's say six months or so. But... Satya actually said, and I quote, it's important to note that while we are eliminating roles in some areas, we are adding roles in other certain strategic areas. My promise to you is that we will go through this process in the most thoughtful and transparent way possible. We'll be offering severance packages to all employees affected by these changes, as well as job transition help in many locations. And everyone can expect to be treated with the respect they deserve for their contributions to this company. In fact, another thing that Microsoft are trying to do, and this is becoming a more standard practice actually in a lot of companies especially larger companies is they're trying to make the management for teams a lot simpler previously microsoft have been accused of having far too many managers far too many layers of management so Sergio has said and i quote in addition we plan to have fewer layers of management both top down and sideways to accelerate the flow of information and decision making the bottom line is is this comes a lot to office politics as well um obviously you've got if you've got two managers who both want slightly different things they you know both may be managing slightly different projects it comes it can sometimes become a little bit of a political nightmare inside the offices and that's not really the ideal situation now for microsoft to be in so this is not a situation where you, as an Xbox owner, have to worry. Microsoft, just a couple of days ago, um, the CEO actually stated, we are committed to the Xbox division. Um, they believe, while it's maybe not the most profitable, in terms of like raw profit, the actual technology that they're gaining from this, in other words, the GPU computing, Skype, and so on, and so on, and so on. That technology is applicable in many different areas. And so they are com completely and utterly committed to the Xbox. So you don't have to worry. What is going to be changing is their infrastructure as a whole. It's basically just trying to modernize, as far as I can tell, the company. This is not a doom and gloom situation. This is not one of those, we are, you know, um, restructuring the company. We're, I'm sure you might be familiar with those news stories where a developer or a publisher says, we are restructuring the company to be more, uh, what generally do they say, more efficient. 
when in reality all they're doing is cutting half their workforce and hoping for the best. No, this isn't that. This is Microsoft basically embracing their new future. So it's a good thing. Well, not for those people, of course, who are losing their jobs, but hopefully Microsoft can uphold that promise and those people can transition to a new job relatively smoothly. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care and bye for now.